Good afternoon, wonderful and not so wonderful people of the internet. Welcome back to Maverick Baking. Today is a good day. I got home from work to find my Degusta box waiting for me on the doorstep like the good little boy he is. That got weird. Um, <laughs> if you are new to the channel or new to the Degusta box series, first of all, hello. Secondly, the Degusta box is basically a mystery parcel full of food. It could be cooking ingredients, sauces, drinks, cereals, utter trash. There's a lot of utter trash. <laughs> anyway, it's time to delve into this month's mystery box and see what we're gonna be snacking on today. So interestingly, if you have been an avid watcher of this series, I don't know why you will have been, but if you are, usually we get a piece of paper telling us about all the snacks inside our monthly subscription box. In this box, we have a whole booklet. What a treat. But as always, we like to keep it a surprise, so we'll, we're, gonna, we're gonna move all this paper elsewhere because we don't need that right now. Let's get into the box. So the first thing I have come across that I just grabbed by accident and I am very, very excited by are some Dalemans Stroopwafels. I visited Amsterdam a couple of years ago and was basically an addict with these things. Um, Stroopwafels are basically tiny, really thin, crispy waffles with a gorgeous caramel center, which when they're cold, is nice and chewy, but if you sit it over a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and then eat it, it's like melty, buttery, just perfect. Anyway, I already know how good these are gonna be, but let's taste one anyway. This is what it looks like, about the size of my brain. Um, so you can see how gorgeous and crispy and golden that is. I'm just gonna crack that in half, just so you can see that gorgeous, gooey, sticky caramel in there. Look, it's sticking up like battlements in a castle, except much tastier and only mildly better for your teeth. Mm. They're sweet, they're buttery, crunchy, they're chewy, melted on top or dunked into a cup of tea. Absolutely perfect. I'm gonna save this half for doing that as soon as I stop filming. Very happy to receive those. Let's move on. Also in this month's box, we have some seaweed puffs. <laughs> These are made in Wick in Scotland by the Scottish Seaweed Company. I'm trying to get excited, but also I know that this is gonna taste like seaweed. <laughs> so basically it's gonna be like a seaweed flavored what's it. <laughs> they smell of literally nothing. <laughs> and also tastes of very little. There is a very, very mild kind of sea salt and balsamic vinegar flavoring in there. It's got the kind of dark taste of balsamic vinegar without having any of the sweetness though, or much of the acidity. There also isn't enough salt for my liking. So you only really get the flavor when you first put it in your mouth and then it just kind of vanishes. They have that real kind of what's it or Cheetos texture where even though it's crunchy, once you finish chewing, it sticks in your teeth and very dry. And You can taste a little bit of that seaweed. You get a kind of salty earthiness at the end. They're not, um, they're not great. Let's move on. We have another crunchy looking snack in here. We have some Indie Bay Spelt Pretzel Bites in rock salt flavor. So I think we've had a kind of barbecue version of these snacks before and they were kind of, I never know what's wrong just with some crisps. Like, I understand that people might want to eat different forms of salted crunchy starch, but honestly, every time I have one of these savory snacks, I do just wish it was a slice of fried potato. And these ones are no different. And holy shit, they are so dry. Oh my God, that was a mistake to do without a drink. Basically, if you just put three dry whole wheat crackers in your mouth, that was kind of what that was like. They don't taste bad, they just taste very kind of whole wheaty and spelty, a very kind of earthy grain type taste. You know, they might be good to use as kind of croutons or something because they are very small and they're certainly not that pleasant to eat on their own because they just sap up any moisture that your mouth may have ever contained. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, please give me some kind of something, some kind of liquid. Okay, we have a liquid in here. Fireflies Lemon, Lime and Ginger Botanical Drink. Look at this bottle, it's gorgeous. So this is made with grape juice, lemon, lime, botanical extracts, nettle and dandelion. Let's try this, if anything, just because 
my throat is closing up with how dry those pretzels were. Ooh. Oh, wow. Girl, stick some gin in there and that is a good time. Really zingy. A little bit sweet, but mostly you just get a good, strong lemony flavor, followed by the lime. Don't taste the ginger that much. You know, ginger usually kind of brings some kind of heat with it, but this isn't too kind of strong with that. If you made that kind of ice cold on a warm day, not a kind of cloudy day at 10 degrees Celsius like it is here right now, but that on a warm day would be absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, that's interesting. Big fan of that. Moving on. Ooh. That noise was far too excited for what this is. It's a jar of vegan mayonnaise. Um, I am not vegan, but I do like to make as many kind of plant-based food decisions as one can afford to. I think mayonnaise is traditionally made just with e either eggs or egg yolks and oil. So this is just instead 72% rapeseed oil and made with other kind of stuff to hold it together. It is really exciting and encouraging to see big brands like Hellman's doing stuff like this as well. You know, I've tried Veganaise and I've tried, I think another brand of vegan mayonnaise, but there's something kind of extra enticing when it's a brand that's a big name in mayonnaise anyway, to do something like this. Obviously, I'm probably not brave enough to take a spoonful of this right now, but I'm looking forward to trying it. What else do we have in here? It looks like we have another, oh, we have another condiment. It's all, all the condiments today, boys. We have this real good smoky barbecue ketchup. So this is vegan, it's low salt, it's low sugar. Doesn't sound super exciting, but you know, I'll never turn down a barbecue sauce. Next, we have <laughs> some Splenda. Next, we have a bag of, why is everything sugar-free? We have a bag of Free From Fellows sugar-free, gelatin-free, gluten-free, artificial color and flavoring free, midget gems. Jesus Christ. I, I'm not one for chewy sweets, really. I'm not kind of a big fan. Um, so let's see what these are like. They do look very cute. They look like tiny... They look like tiny little jellies. Like they've come out of tiny, tiny little jelly molds. Let's see how they taste. Oh my God. It's so sticky. <coughs> that was nice. This is probably just because I don't really like super chewy sweets. They stress me out because they get stuck in my teeth and it just feels like I'm eating melted plastic. They have the same kind of black currant flavor that a lot of kind of cough sweets or throat sweets have, like strepsils or soothers. Yeah, basically they're not good. <laughs> the sugar-free thing probably isn't the, the selling point here. It's the fact they kind of taste and feel pretty disgusting. Would not recommend. <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> Fruity beauties. <laughs> look at this bar. Just look at it. It looks like it was designed on Microsoft Paint. <laughs> Um, so this is 100% organic, five fruit, what? Five fruit what? So this contains mango, banana, pineapple, raisins, dates, and apple juice. It feels, it already feels like it's going to be really sticky and like it's probably going to taste like every other smooshed up fruit bar does. Oof. I know that it's maybe difficult to get kids to eat fruit or something like that, but I can assure you, anyone of any age watching this, it's much more pleasant both to eat and to look at just to eat a fucking banana instead of eating this rectangle of smooshed up roadkill. So it's got that weird kind of shininess to it. Like all the worst parts of a Christmas cake just rolled up and smooshed and put in a wrapper. I don't even want to taste this, but I'm going to. Holy shit, look at the, look at the texture of this thing. Look at it. Doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. What makes me even more, fuck. <laughs> what makes me even more sad about this is that it is made with mango. Mango is, without debate, the best fruit on the planet. Whether it's fresh and ripe, whether it's even just a little bit underripe, or when it's dried, it's the king of fruits. And you have wasted precious mango on this. 
if anyone that is associated with this company is watching, I'm sorry, but it is one of the worst things I've tasted in a long time. <laughs> Moving on, we have some biodegradable tea bags. So this is a black tea with apricot. Just, just some tea bags that literally contain nothing but black tea and apricot pieces. Not much to say there. Okay, so we have two products left in this month's box, one of which is this cocoa dairy-free coconut milk. Now this is coconut milk in the same sense as kind of almond milk. It's like coconut pulp blended with water into a creamy everyday milk, not the kind of tinned coconut milk you would use in Thai cooking. So this one is special because it is enriched with nine vitamins and minerals. Now, I'm not gonna taste this because I know I like Cocoa Dairy Free. I have bought their milk before and have enjoyed it. I love me some coconut milk. Anyway, let's move on to our final product, which I'm not the happiest about because it is two bags of these Milky Bar mix-ups. Now, I posted a review of these recently on the channel. If you missed it, I'll repeat it for you. Basically, they look weird. They have a weird chalky texture and they're very average. That being said, eating them after that disgusting dried mango bar is actually quite pleasant. So I'm afraid that is it for the May Degusa box. Definitely better than some of the previous boxes we've had. Some of the past couple of months have been very, very bad, but very, very fun. So if you haven't watched those yet, go back and watch those. In the meantime, if you would like to grab your own Degusta box, whether that's on a subscription or just a one-off purchase, I will leave a link in the description box below to where you can do so. But for now, I am going to go finish the other half of this delicious Dutch waffle. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then do nothing. So I will see you guys next time.